Hi, my name is Joyce. I'm in the USI Technical Department. Today we're going to go over our pouch machine, the HD1200, and we also have it in a 4 inch. This machine basically has your power switch, which also makes the rollers go. The only other adjustment is on the bottom of the machine. There's a section to put a flathead screwdriver to turn up the temperature or to turn it down. Typically what I tell customers to do, if you're going to run something, what you might want to do first is run the piece through and if it comes out cloudy, you can turn up the temperature and you can run the same piece through again. I'm just going to take for now a little business card type pouch which has adhesive on both sides and then you have your laminate. I'm going to put my business card in here and whenever you buy pouches they come with a cardboard carrier. This is like a manila folder to keep the inside of your machine clean and so that your pouch does not wrap around the rollers. I'm going to feed it in the narrow end so that it's longer so that I make sure it reaches my second set of rollers because you have two rollers in the front two rollers in the back. This machine also comes with an operating instruction and this will come pre-laminated with the machine that you're purchasing. Once your carrier exits you usually let it cool a little bit before you open it. And here we just did pouch, film front, film back. And you could do 3 mil up to 15 mil. I grabbed another pouch, which is what we call our pressure sensitive decal pouch. Basically, it has film on top and adhesive. And on the back side, you have a liner that you would peel off, which becomes a peel and stick. So we have these also in letter size. So if you wanted to run one of these through and say mount it to the back of a board, which has no glue on it, you would take your, your piece, and of course we wouldn't put a small business card on the board, we'd probably put something larger, but we're going to feed it in. One thing about carriers, and this machine takes about five minutes to heat up. One thing about carriers, they probably last 25-30 times. Eventually they get distorted, so they get kind of bumpy, and these bumps could come out on your laminated piece. So at that time, it's time to get new carriers. We do offer carriers. They come 10 in a pack. So if we open up this, we have our liner back here. So now this becomes a peel, and you could stick it. Um, we also have our letter size pouches. And again, this machine does 3 mil up to 15 mil. Again, you got to always use a carrier. If you don't, it's going to wrap around the inside of your machine. We're going to just feed this in. I usually kind of like to hold it to keep it flat. And then when it comes out the back, kind of like to hold it or you could set some books behind the machine just to keep it flat so it cools flat. Uh, one thing about the HD that customers sometimes make a mistake in is they order the 220 volt machine which is international so you want to make sure you're ordering the 110 volt. Another thing I find with customers they purchase it to do photographs this machine will not do photographs. You'll get air pockets and air bubbles. You need a different type of machine to do photographs, which would be a heated roller type pouch machine, which we also offer those as well. So basically, this is going to come out. 
we just let it cool a little bit, open it up, and we have our finished piece. Like I said, if this was cloudy, we would turn the machine over, turn up our temperature, and run the same pouch through until it gets nice and clear. Then we set our temperature and we just leave it alone. And that's all you need to do to run your HD 1200.